Benjamin Sesko to United close. De Jong and Ronaldo update in the for you onto this channel, which goes by names of United Matters channel. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment, and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time. Endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily in the for you. And today we are summarizing the day, all summing up our day with this story of Benjamin Sesko with some positive news in the for you that United is in for him and this deal looks like it's closed and anytime from now you might hear that this deal is done and dusted in the for you from the likes of Fabrizio Romano because United are really going hard for a player who goes by Benjamin Sesko and it looks like the presence of Eric Ten Hag is really acting like a magnet to really attract or pull Benjamin Sesko to United because we believe that Eric Ten Hag believes in young talent and he has groomed very many 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 young talents in the free so this is Rock and David, obviously, and remember, this is our third video of the day. Remember, we started up with the predicted United, United 11 versus Atletico Madrid. Then we come up with the 21-man squad that Eric Ten Hag has really picked or solicited to go in Oslo to play Atletico Madrid in the for you. And lastly, we are here to bring you stories about the transfers in the for you. Remember, today, we never really gave you transfer news, but trust me, we are here to really get you served or get you served in there for you. So, Fabrizio Romano was the first really tell us and confirm this story it came in from Slovenia remember this boy comes in from Slovenia and most of us we are saying it's it's a lie because we no longer really believe into third or fourth tier journalists either for you but remember at the beginning of this summer I told you that by March I got to know that this summer is really going to be so much so much depending on third and fourth tier journalists because players the player agents are now using those 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 fourth and third tier journalists to break out the news on <coughs> their players either for you like when united got in for sesco it came in from uh from slovenia and everyone was saying oh is it true but we've got to know that it's really true and the and the technical director of United met the agent of Benjamin Sesco. So Fabrizio Romano told us that Manchester United interest on Benjamin Sesco is concrete. United had direct contacts with his agents in the for you. So that is Fabrizio Romano in the for you. Can you tell us that not only United but Newcastle and many other clubs are ask, have asked for Sesco in the for you? Then he told us that the issue is RB Salzburg's answer on Sesco. We want to sell him next summer. United would have to submit an important bid if they want to sign him immediately in there for you. Then Samuel Lucas, you know him, is a correspondent or a chief United writer for the Manchester Evening News. Being briefed in by the club, he told us that Man United football director John Motaf met the agent of RB Salzburg striker Benjamin Sheshko last week. It is understood Motaf rendezvoused with Sesco's agent last Wednesday to gouge the possibility of a transfer in there for you. So it shows you that this deal is happening and United is so much into this deal. And when you look at the very many teams that are really wanting this player, I wish I would believe that no team can beat us on this player. And the money they are wanting 30 million euros mm, to 50 million euros that is mean that means 30 million euros plus. 20 million, 20 million euros of add-ons. I think that would be bargain for United. And we believe that Eric Ten Hag would be needing of such a center forward because he won't come in here to really request for a lot of time. He'll tell him that, please, you're going to play, but trust me, you're really going to be my striker next season. You are really going to be third video, but trust me, next season, you're really going to enjoy this season in the for you. So I really believe that Benjamin Sesco to United is so much close, meaning that if I told Joe Motaf that the technical director of United met with his agent, that's a confirmation that United is 100% into this man and they really want him. This guy is so much exciting, 19 years of age. For the very first time, I watched him play against Liverpool and he scored that one goal that saw RB Salzburg beat Liverpool in Australia in there for you. But this shows you that there is a rebuild at United that is taking place in there for you and the Ragnik, the Ragnik advice is being taken. And I think even Ten Hag believes in the Ragnik advice that we should get on players on the first contract. And secondly, we should get in players who are still having that hunger. You get 
don't bring in players that are really that are satisfied. You should bring in young players who are going to come in and they work and work their ass off immediately. Obviously, news is coming is telling us that this player was scouted by Rafragnik and it told United about him and United had gone in for him. Is it in the Germany transfer window? I really remember, but they really paid in little money. So the interest has been there, and United are really wanting this player. And I really believe that when you look at the options are very the center forwards. I think for me it's better to bring in him because even if you bring in a finished project right now, you won't be able, you won't be sure that it's going to come in and really get you the results that you want. But Benjamin Sisko, 19 years of age, he comes in at United. Second, first and foremost, he's a different kind of striker than those who have at United. He's different from Ronaldo. He's different from Anton Martial. So his presidency is really good and you expect him to always come in through and really save the team sometimes and you know our history at united we've always been having those young exciting center forwards in there for you like macheda mm, daniel welbeck came in through and really scored in goals um there is another one who's called campbell in there for you he came in and scored goals um mason 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 greenwood uh janus i remember him very well so this is the culture of United to bring in young players in the field. United is not a team that relied so much on to already finished products. We used to all go in for players like Ryan Giggs, young, talented. Then we develop him and then he becomes a world-class player. Paul Scholes, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Nicky Bart. Uh, which other player? Uh, so that's what United was. That was the DNA of United in the for you, and that's what will made us great. So I really believe that Ten Hag has chosen the right choice because the only high profile player has gone for is uh De Jong because we know why he needs him. 25 years of age, very much integral into his system, and he knows that he's one of those best midfielders in the world in the for you. And we believe that if at all comes at United, we come in and really make lots of changes in the for you. But Benjamin Sesco is really a sign that we believe that Ten Hag will enjoy and we improve again more and more and more and more because he's a different kind of talent altogether. I really like the guy. I watched him for one game, you know. When you see highlights of a player, I really saw his highlights on YouTube and said, oh, he's really great. But when I saw him play against Liverpool, I saw his intensity. He's tall and fast. He's skilled. His composure in the box. By the way, I would have even scored two goals against Liverpool. But <coughs> Sorry about that. He would have really scored like another goal against Liverpool, but because the goalkeeper was really good for the moment. But the defense of Joe Gomez and Konate, oh my God, he was really going past through. He was going past them every time he really feel like in the for you. He has a quick foot. He has some good turnovers. He makes some good turns in the for you. When you look at his runs that he makes in front of, in front of the line, you get or leading the line of a side which goes by names of Salzburg. He's been here good. And if at all he comes in at, at United, he falls into the hands of Eric Ten Hag. Obviously, what a better way to kickstart your career in there for you. So Benjamin Sesko to United is really very, very close in there for you. Then Samuel Lucas told us that two days after Motaf met Bazanovic, Ten Hag stressed needed stressed united needed more options in their squad as they are still short of priority targets the club's pursuit of Barcelona midfielder frankie de jong has entered the 12th week in the for you obviously i will believe that this guy is going to come even then even frankie de jong will come but because we know about the deferred wages and very many things in the for you and now they are planning to really get him out of barcelona so we are waiting to see how that is going to unfold in here onto united matters channel but after Ten Hag met the agent of Sesco, sorry, after Mota, the technical director of United met the agent of Sesco, Ten Hag told him that United needs more options, especially into the forward role of United in the foyer. So that shows you that this deal is close and United, 30 million euros, just a bargain. It's really great. And I think the agent also wants this deal to happen. And I've seen him already following United onto Instagram in the foyer. So we are waiting to see how that is going to unfold in here onto the united matters channel let's go to this other story about frankie de jong because 
Previously, in this story of Samuel Lucas, I told us that the club's pursuit of Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong has entered the 12th week. Obviously, I told you that we are coming close to three months when you are really chasing for this deal. You get? So, that's how really hard this deal is in the for you, but we know what's making it hard. Then Samuel Lucas, you know him, chief Manchester United writer for the evening for the Manchester United for the Manchester Evening News told us that De Jong's wage deferral remains the sticking point. According to senior United sources, with the 25-year-old owed around 17 million pounds by Barcelona. So he's telling us that what is really what is really holding the tail of De Jong? Obviously, we know that it's the money, but I think Barcelona are really trying themselves to say, we pay this money to this guy because the guy is telling them, I'm going nowhere, I want to stay here. Even if you play me as a central defender, I, I, I won't go, I want my money. So he really believes that Barcelona don't want to pay him. That's why he's really making it hard to really leave Barcelona to Manchester United. He wants to leave Barca when they've paid him all his deferred wages. That is Frankie de Jong, but he's really going to be so much integral into the central midfield of United. Then James Darker, you know him, correspondent of Manchester United at what we call the Daily Telegraph and Sunday Telegraph has told us that Manchester United are still hoping to sign Frankie de Jong, but the deal remains fraught with problems. So, we all know that lots of stories have been reported in there for you, but my main point of sticking to this deal is that it was brought to the board by Eric Ten Hag, meaning that Eric Ten Hag had already been convinced by the player that I will come at my United and play for you. That's why everything is happening like this. And we've been told it's all about the deferred wages, I've told you, but I'll find means to see to it that this really gets to an end in the way because... Not me, I think Manchester United will find means to either to really get this player for Eric Ten Hag because the player is really frustrated at Barcelona and I think he's not loving the way he's being treated by Xavi by getting him out of the central midfield and then plays him to the central defense. Obviously, that's a sign that we no longer want you in here for you. Amid is Xavi telling us that he really loves the player and he needs to go in and play central defense. How do you really take him to central defense when you have already four central defenders and you are, brought in, we are bringing in a fifth central defender? You get You've brought in Joel Skonde, that is Barcelona, and they have another player who goes by the names of Christiansen. Then there is Garcia, there is um, there is Gerard Pique, the legend, in there for you. So all those players in there are really waiting to see how everything happens at Barcelona in there for you. So... Playing Frankie de Jong into the central defense, meaning that, meaning that means that he's like a sixth choice because I don't even told you about Araujo in there for you because a story of convincing Joel Skonde to join Barcelona. Chavi told him you're going to be one of the best. You're going to be the best ball playing central defenders in the world, and I'm planning my central defense on you and Araujo. So it shows you that Frankie de Jong is not in the eyes of the manager, and he really is out so we're waiting to see how that unfolds of frankie de jong to manchester united but james docker has told us that united really believes that this deal is going to happen anytime from now in there for you then let's talk about cristiano ronaldo now samuel lucas correspondent the united correspondent for manchester evening news has told us that Cristiano ronaldo is in contention to be involved in united is friendly with Roy Volcano at Old Trafford. Obviously, I really believe that's going to take part because he can't hide himself anymore. He can't hide anymore because he has a contract with United and there is no way. I've heard people saying that if Ronaldo wanted to go, why, why would he return to Carrington? He would have striked. Guys, this guy is tied on the contract and the club had looked into whether he's really having a sick person or not or having some serious family problems for you. The reason why he really turned out United was really to go in and push a move away from Manchester United. Obviously, obviously, he wants to leave. United is saying he's not for sale. But for me, we believe that. We are to the Champions League football and Ronaldo is going to go. So tomorrow, we are going to be seeing one of, it might be the last game of Ronaldo at Old Trafford or another game in the for you that will result into him really really leaving United and really joining another club. But we are being told that on Sunday he's going to start in the for you. That means he's going to lead the line in the team that's going to be having Tom Heaton in goal. Uh, maybe Aaron Wan-Bissaka or Nathan Laird, 
then uh, Luke Shaw, Rafael Veran, and uh, Lisandro Martinez. Then um, a little bit of that, they're going to be Scott McTominay, uh, Ericsson, um, Zidane Iqbo, and very many others. Ahmad Diallo of this world, the Elangas of this world are really going to enjoy the game of football as they really prepare to face a man who goes by the names of Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United in there for you. We're having another story being brought to us by Jack Tabolt in there for you. He's a European football correspondent, obviously. He has told us that he works for the Times, Mira, and so on. He told us that on Ronaldo, with all noise he's made about wanting to leave, it's thought the attacker has now weakened his position when it comes to playing time next season if he does not end up remaining at Old Trafford in there for you. So, it's like Obviously, what Ronaldo is doing is not good. It's putting the camp into disarray because he'll come out and say this and you know he's one of the most, the best players in the world and if he really comes in through, obviously news has to talk about him but United are really making it a point sometimes that this attacker who goes by the name of Ronaldo his position has weakened after really exposing us in the news that we are ambitionless in the for you. So, and when you look at the teams where Ronaldo is going, I will believe that United is far much better than them. I miss them being the Champions League. You get? So he's being linked to a side which goes by names of Napoli. Then there is a sporting Lisbon, Atletico Madrid. President said, no, we don't need Ronaldo. So Ronaldo is really having some shit in the for you. Then we've been told by Jack Tabot that the possible departure of Cristiano Ronaldo is the irrelevant to is relevant to whether United might bring another striker in. Someone like Benjamin Sesco or a cheaper option is wanted this window regardless. So it shows you that even if Ronaldo stays, United will go in and bring in another central another center forward. That's it. Good news in the for you and we are waiting to see how this is going to go in and favor Ten Hag in the for you because I will believe that if I told you to really see United get back to where it is again, Ten Hag needs like three years. He needs like three years to get where United was back in the for you. And I know he knows it, that it's not going to be an easy job, but he took it. And when you take huge jobs like this, that are really so much risky. You come in and really go on and really prove yourself to the people who would have said that, oh, he's not really, he's not really that level in the for you. Obviously, he's that level and everyone knows it. So Samuel Lucas has told us that United are also open to adding a new right back but would struggle to justify an addition when they have already bought two defenders without any outstandings in that department in the for you. So United are really looking to bring in a right back, especially a story is, being, is linking us to Demofries and it's also linking the same player to Chelsea. <laughs> Therefore, so I will believe that we can go in and really win the rest. Obviously, when you have Denzel Demofries onto the right back, and when you have so I'm here trying really to doze off but I want really to get you this story done because I've had a very tiresome day you know what it means being in camera for close to three 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 how many videos have I recorded today there are very many in there for you but we are being told that United is wanting a right back so these are the players that Ten Hag needs he needs a central midfielder, he needs a right back, he needs a right winger in the names of Anthony and a centre forward. So, four more players are being requested by Eric Ten Hag and obviously we know the targets that we need to really looking at. Central midfield, Frankie De Jong, right back, Demi Freeze, right wing, that is Anthony in there for you and then striker is Benjamin Shesko in there for you. A confirmation coming in from close sources of the club that United met with the agents of Benjamin Sesco and you know the deal is in the pipeline to happen in the for you. So guys, feel free to get the comment section to what you think about these stories we've done. We've done Benjamin Sesco if you need to close De Jong and Ronaldo updating that for you. Ronaldo to play on Sunday for United and Frankie De Jong. Obviously United are really so much clear that this deal is going to happen and Midis is having a lot of frauds of problems into it. But they're 100% sure that deal is going to happen and it's going to be done and dusted according to according to James Darker and Samuel Lucas in the for you. They're reporting from the club. It's the club that rebriefs them and we now know what we are all about in the for you. Smash the like button, comment and share. 
If at all you are watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in our daily. I go by the names of Rock and David. I sign out for now. Guys, I'm dozing. I'm dozing. Good night, guys. Talk to you later. Have to go on and sleep and prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow we're having a game against Atletico Madrid. I'm out.